can you cycle on the interstate? Well, the short answer is maybe. So there are several areas in the United States that you're allowed to cycle on limited access interstates. The reason for this is that they're often the only routes available between certain areas and most of these areas are in the western parts of the United States. I'm going to put a link in the description of a Wikipedia article that discusses some of this. But your best bet is to look at the state Department of Transportation websites and they often will have the information on where you're allowed to cycle unlimited access interstates. So I'm going to talk about what it's like. They're pretty nice to cycle on actually. The areas where you're allowed to cycle. They have very wide shoulders. There's only a couple things you really have to worry about such as rumble strips and it seems to be that there are debris bands and so you'll be able to see how those are formed along the road. Usually there's a band, a, a couple of them, and you just cycle in between them and stay to the right of the rumble strips. Having a mirror is pretty important. You're going to want to pay attention to what's coming from behind. The most dangerous parts of cycling on the interstate are going to be crossing on and off ramps. You're going to want to scan the line that you want to take and look for any kind of debris. Then you're going to want to head check. You're going to head check. You're going to head check. Check your mirror. Head check, etc. You don't want to be crossing if there's any chance that someone could be exiting at that very moment. So another thing is weather. It can be a huge factor. Your visibility is super important. Do not cycle into the sun. Be very, very aware of the sun. If you cannot see, then you can be assured that the 75 and 80 mile an hour traffic won't see you either. So cycling on the interstate during the rain is also not a great idea. I know, I've done it, and it isn't very fun. If you are cycling in bad weather, such as rain or sleet or anything like that, your sudden unexpected appearance could cause someone to lose control. It won't be your fault, but certainly your ass is in the hospital or worse. So be very aware of any road conditions that could affect others on the road. So are you interested in this little known fact that you can access interstates? Please check the description and most importantly, please check the State Department of Transportation websites. I know that in Utah there's actually an app for your phone that will show you the sections of interstate that are prohibited which means everything else is open and there's plenty of ways to cross state lines using interstates. So again, I'd just like to say subscribe if you like this content and have a great day.